This tutorial will show you how to improve video playback performance in Resolume by converting files to DMX using Resolume Alley. If you're new to the channel, I make projection mapping tutorials and projects, so please consider subscribing if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoy it. I will just drag in an MP4 video encoded with H.264 codec into a clip slot in Resolume and trigger it. I'll output in windowed mode and you will hopefully be able to see some performance issues in the form of the occasional little jog. There. And there. OK, so I'm not happy with that. I want to find the best codec to use with Resolume, and if I go on Resolume's website, it has fantastic documentation to accompany the software. It talks about the formats that Resolume supports, but it also states that Resolume has some codecs that it likes more than others. Its favourite one is DXV, and it explains here at the link, converting your content. It's a hardware GPU accelerated codec. Decompression of the video frames is done directly on the video card. If you download Resolume and you have Adobe packages like After Effects, Media Encoder or Premiere, plugins automatically get installed that enable you to export to DXV. But the easiest way is to use Resolume Alley, which comes with Resolume but can also be downloaded as a standalone application. I hit open and select the files I want to convert, which was this one. And hit convert. Check over these simple settings. I'm happy with all the defaults, but you can choose normal or high quality and whether you want to include an alpha channel or not. You can set the size and trim if you want. Set the output folder or set a new file name for the converted video if you wish. So then we queue one file and there it goes. Let's test this now. Go back into Resolume and let's drag our new DXV movie into a clip slot and let's see if we see any playback issues. It looks incredibly smooth to me, so I think we've resolved our performance issues by converting to DXV with Resolume Alley. I hope this tutorial helped you. Please drop any questions or comments down below. I always try to respond to people if I can. Please do me a favour and like this video and share it if you think it could help someone. If you'd consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell, you won't miss out on my future projection mapping tutorials and videos.